सो या गाइज आर वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट लाइक यू कैन से पाइथन स्क्रिप्ट व्हिच विल हेल्प यू टू गेट अ रिमोट डेवलपर जॉब एंड व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू फेच द डेटा फ्रॉम द डेटा फ्रॉम एन एन एक्सटर्नल ए पी एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सेंड द रेलिवेंट जॉब टू योर व्हाट्सएप मैसेज एंड यू कैन सेंड दिस लाइक मैसेज टू अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल व्हाट्सएप मैसेजेस और यू कैन एड मेलिंग फंक्शन और यू कैन एड अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स यू कैन डू अ लॉट ऑफ क्रिएटिव थिंग्स एज वेल सो अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल रियली वॉन्ट अ रिमोट डेवलपर जॉब बट लाइक वॉट दे डू इज वे दे आर नॉट एबल टू गेट द जॉब बिकॉज दे डोंट नो वे टू अप्लाई एंड इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू गेट अ गुड जॉब सो वी आर गोइंग टू लाइक यू कैन से we use our python skills to create a script which will help us to land a great developer job and you can do this not for python it's not limited to python it's limited not limited to any jo- job de- description because a lot of remote job really don't need python skill you can have a node js skill you can have a lot of other skill as well so this script is going to help you a lot and uh, so let's start the video and if this video has helped you any in any way give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel so let's start and also before like uh, going further to the video like if you do if you want to become a full stack developer in just 6 month okay and uh, <coughs> you don't want to pay any fee um, till until you get placed so newton school is just for you and what's newton school newton school is an e learning platform where you can get a full stack developer course you, where you can become a full stack developer in just 6 month without paying any p fees until you get placed and the minimum placement is is about 5 lakh lpa and you can see a lot of people a lot of good companies hire directly from newton school so if you want to become a full stack developer and you want to like uh, grow your career and want to become a great developer definitely do enroll in the newton school course the link is in the description section and you can see like 600 plus company so like placement is and you can like you, you like you will when once you enroll in the course you like uh, see a lot of companies will push to you will want to work with you okay so if you want to become a full stack developer definitely do check the link in the link is in the description section so let's uh, start <coughs> so okay so this is a like you can say remote uh, dot okay website uh, where you can get a remote job but uh, we are not going to see each and every job like okay we i'm interested in social media lead okay this job helps me we can apply so that's a little part you need to filter a lot of things so what you can do is we ca- we will create a script that will fetch all the data from this particular api uh, if you will type remote dot okay dot com slash api you will get all the json response okay, over here and uh, we can then like i let me zoom in uh then you can like fi- filter all your jobs so let's suppose i want to get a job using python so i can type python and you can see a lot of job really want a python developer if you want to a javascript you can get a javascript so we are going to fetch by tags position what what position you want you are looking for and we are going to send a link okay so let's start so we are going to use three libraries uh, the first one a lot of libraries then uh, not only three the first one is a request library which will help us to get the data the next one is a twilio uh, library which will help us to send uh, uh, you can say whatsapp message to the person where you want to uh, like send the messages uh, you can say a notification kind of thing uh, next thing what we are going to do we are use a schedule library which will uh, it's kind of a cron job so if you want to run this function every 12 am every 10 pm at night at day every one minute you can run this particular script you so let's start so first of all we will import request library which we are going to use so request <coughs> and uh, after that we can create a variable which will hold the url for this particular you can say api and uh, let's do that so url will be this thing okay uh, and uh, also we are going to create a tag okay so keys first of all we will create a keys so let's suppose keys is equal to and we <coughs> we want like we only want that particular data which has these keys as well so first of all what ge- what key will be the key will be get date when it was applied you can see date okay when the when, when this particular job was posted and the next thing uh, what we need is uh <coughs> date and the company because we want a company 
and uh, next thing that is called a position we are interested in the position and you can like modify all these things as well and tax because on tax we get a relevant information that uh, what tag is all about like sometime it's uh, these tags sometimes this will be like security travel mobile lead this kind of full tech python also somewhere you can we will find so we are interested in tag keys and the location and after that the url for that particular job okay and uh, <coughs> wanted tags what uh, tags we really want wanted tags is equal to what python okay otherwise we can remove as well so we are going to write a function def get jobs okay and the function like uh, this pons is equal to request dot get and url and after that we are gonna job results is equal to resp response dot we will convert this into a json response okay so let's hit this url and let's see what we get oh we need to okay so we need to run this function okay so once we hit the function you can see we are able to get all the data which is on the api okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to create you can say a list jobs is equal to empty list okay and <coughs> after that what we are going to do is for job result in job results and uh, we are going to create a key is equal to for first of all what we are going to do is we are going to iterate for k comma v in job dot job result dot items and we are going to check check if k in keys <coughs> okay if keys are available then we are going to add to k equal to v <coughs> okay so like we are checking that uh, if all the keys are available on this particular uh, job result payload as or not so if job if job is there then what we can do is we can print the job so let's see what we get we can like remove this thing then run the function and you can see we are able to get all the job okay so job company all the thing which we have mentioned uh, we are able to get that thing as well okay now what we are going to do is we are gonna tax is we are gonna get the tax so job dot uh, get tax and check <coughs> whether the tag is available or not whether the tag which we want is available or not okay uh, if first of all we are going to uh, like lower the tag tags is equal to tag dot lower for tag in tags okay and we are gonna check if python and tags we are gonna append this thing to jobs jobs dot append job okay uh, okay so now our function is ready and if we will print this thing you will be able to get all the job which are related to python okay so let's print let's print this thing and okay Oh, it's wrong. Let's run. Okay, so now you are able to get all the job. <coughs> we are able to get the job. Like, uh, let's suppose 
the the job the company is assurance care career and tax or financial senior system bank cloud location seattle these kind of thing okay and now what we are gonna do is we are gonna message this thing so for messaging we are gonna use twilio so let's open twilio and also like if you haven't subscribed the channel you can subscribe as well okay twilio <coughs> and like i think you are able to understand like how you can get sid account sid and all these information so that thing okay you can grab all the information from going to the user settings uh okay no not the uh, user setting you need to go on this thing what where it's okay we need to <coughs> i think you are you can so you you need to get all the data from this particular you can say twilio console and once you are able to get the data you can like get started with okay so let's uh, write a function which will help us to like uh, you can say send data send you can say uh, like job description to a whatsapp message so send whatsapp text okay and it's going to take a parameter called jobs and after that we are going to iterate it for job in jobs okay and uh, let's write a function that first of all we need to import something that's called twilio from twilio dot rest from twilio dot rest import what client let's import client and uh, <coughs> so also we need to get a from what's up number and we can do this in forms of explore we can go to messaging and we can go to senders then you can say whatsapp sender and uh, let's wait uh, send sms okay and uh, send the whatsapp messages and this is my phone number where where i can send the date that particular thing so we can add it over here and we need to add a whatsapp okay and uh, from whatsapp number so i have added all the sensitive information in dot env file and uh, okay so like we have added three things the three variables the first one is account sid which will you will get from twilio and the second one is our or token you will this will all this you will also get on twilio and there's two phone numbers on which phone number you want to send that particular whatsapp text so let's go and first of all we need to initialize the ta uh, you can say client so for this we can like client is equal to client and uh, we can pass like uh, account sid comma account or token okay this will initialize our client and to phone number you we can copy from here uh to phone okay this is a phone number on which you want to send that particular text and uh, after that we can type a message message is equal to we can use a f string and what information you want to send you can send it over here so i will write like a uh, hi abhijit we got some new jobs for you and we can add some relevant information that you want to send so first of all i want to send a date uh, so let's add a date that's will be f a job dot get you can say date our uh, next thing we are going to send company is equal to job dot get company and the next thing is url which is very important if you will not be sending the url how he is going to be apply okay url and after that we can send a position and you can like modify this particular payload uh, if you want to send more information you can like definitely send that information to other people 
okay position and now we are gonna call this thing so message is equal to client dot message just dot create and body is equal to message and from is equal to uh, this thing uh, the number which we got from the twilio from this and two is equal to two phone numbers now i think we are good to go and let's run this function so first of all we are gonna run this function send whatsapp text and inside we are gonna pass get jobs <coughs> and this function will return what jobs so we can return jobs okay and also we can print the uh, like let's suppose we want to print whether this message was sent or not so message dot sid and let's run this uh, script and see what we get okay i don't know like why <laughs> it's causing some error print job once i like add a print function it uh, runs otherwise it won't okay so now you can see it is sending some messages and let's open our whatsapp web so we can see whether we got the message or not okay so now you can see we are able to get the message okay hi abhijit we got some new job for you date this this company is inside and you are is none okay we are not able to get the url why this is happening okay let's run now you can see we are able to get the <coughs> data you can say like uh, right now we have the company is doximity and uh, position is data engineer and we will if you want to apply this thing we can do this and now what we want is we want to run this particular script each and every 12 pm so for this we are going to use a library that's called scheduler so let's import that thing as well import scheduler <coughs> okay schedule sorry okay now what we can do is we can do schedule dot every we want to then this particular script on every night so for dot day every day and uh, do it dot art dot two okay so it's gonna run this particular function every 12 am each and every day and uh, we need while true schedule dot run pending and time dot sleep or uh, we don't really need sleep but we are adding so this is a script which will help you to get a remote job and uh, i hope this video has helped you in any way and if this video has helped you in any way you can give it a thumbs up you can like this channel you can subscribe to this channel you can like this video and meet you in the next video goodbye and thank you and if you will share this video that will help me a lot so meet you in the next video goodbye and thank you